Hey everybody, so today we have a MacBook M1. And you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a mask. It's, it is because, it's not because of any virus or anything, it is because of this one, and I don't want to get a virus in this one. You can smell it, it's really bad. The keyboard isn't working, and that's because there's a liquid spill. If you couldn't guess, that's the, the reason why I'm wearing a mask, is because the liquid spill is regurgitated. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'll use the word regurgitated. Um, food has been here and the keyboard doesn't work so it does turn on but the keyboard isn't working Then opened up and it's been cleaned uh, again we really don't like that because uh, we can't really see where the damage is if there's any corrosion that might have been on the board itself it's a little bit harder to actually see the damage that's on the board especially if there was anything um, or any damage that might be there I don't think this has been opened all the way so maybe just the back of it so I'm gonna open the back of it it's been cleaned don't really see anything here the connections are right here. This is its own little board. And actually, this is up, isn't it? Okay, so maybe that's part of the reason why it's not uh, connected to the keyboard. But uh, the, there are connections here. And uh, you can see this actually goes to the main board itself. This is the trackpad connection, but this the trackpad connection, always if you have a problem with the trackpad connection on MacBooks, you're going to have problems with uh, the keyboard, and sometimes the trackpad won't work either. But that's what the main connection that is going there is doing. So we're going to go ahead and check. Uh, if you checked our other videos, we just should see that even sometimes when the trackpad is damaged itself. Let's go ahead, open it up. And I'm going to faint because I'm going to be wearing this and talking the whole time <laughs> with the mask on. So I'll do the best I can. But let's go ahead and at least open it up so you don't have to look at me wearing a mask the whole entire time. We're just going to go ahead and do a visual inspection. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder, especially if this has been cleaned with like alcohol or something very similar. Um, this, at least it will be more of a surface damage, but I do see that these cables have been up and it's been worked on, obviously. Um, but if that is the case, we can go ahead and at least check these cables, see if there's been any damage. Uh, let's go, that's as much as I can zoom in, but it doesn't look like it, just by looking at it. We need to take a look to see. I'm going to check the easiest thing first. I'm going to go ahead and check the trackpad to make sure that the trackpad's healthy. If the trackpad's healthy, then we can move on more to the keyboard. But I wouldn't be surprised, uh, especially if we did see something on the trackpad that's causing this thing maybe not to work. So let's go ahead, we'll just remove at least that part because that's the easiest part to do. And then if we need to remove the board, obviously we'll go ahead and do that because the palm rest is underneath here and those usually do need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything that's going on with the trackpad. That's the trackpad and we're looking under the microscope now on that side, but this is mainly on the back side of the cable. I don't really think it's gonna make this thing not work. Uh, the components look to be okay. The smell is terrible. <laughs> but I don't think it's really going to gonna make a difference there. Okay, so we took the board out. Just going to do a quick visual inspection and see if there's any corrosion on the board or anything that should, we should be concerned of. Or if we just get a very simple fix. Looks clean, looks clean. I'm fogging up my microscope. Might as well look at the actual camera. See what you guys are seeing. Because I'm fogging up my microscope with a mask on. Okay. Looks pretty clean. Nothing obvious. Cable here. This is a this is your uh, power button I.O. board cable. Looks perfect. Okay. Looks clean. Looks uh, very good. And I did see that um, the thing is these keys are actually getting a little, a little bit loose. And that's a really, really bad thing, especially if this. So if we do remove this one, don't worry, we're not putting this back anyway. Um, but we do see that there is a lot of more just uh, just kind of dirt and grime that goes underneath it. You see all the white that does go around here? Let's see if I can bring and show it. So all that little white, that's more just uh, grime. And the thing is, you can see, the, it actually does kind of see like you can see underneath a lot of other keys. And even though the keys do work now, they're going to have problems uh, in the future. Especially if this keeps pressing, you keep pressing these keys down. I can see this one has a lot too. It's hard to show under the camera. What it's going to do is it's, it's going to lift it up a little bit more. And uh, I could definitely pop the key. Or I could just damage the key. Especially if there's a lot of key presses that do go um, throughout this, this process. Or throughout just or throughout time. Like, But we want to make sure that this is one that's going to be really perfect. I don't want to have, have a problem with one key. 
and have an issue with that in the future. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and remove this and then we're going to go to just replace the, the actual palm rest itself there because we don't want to go uh, give a customer back. It's hard to see if you can actually see these angles. You see all the white that does go along these angles. That's going to give problems and we can't have that happen by just doing a basic cleaning. Um, and we want to make sure that the customers can be fine uh, very in a very, very long time, make sure there's no other issues that are going to happen. There's one more cable. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Got to make sure that the board is, is nice, safe over here. And let's go ahead and remove our I.O. board because I don't think our new one's going to have an I.O. board. Let's just come off a separate piece. And I think we do have uh, a home button. I don't know if we need to remove the home button. I think we, our next one might actually have it, so it might not have to worry about it too much. But if we have to remove it, we can't. It's easy. It's just uh, six screws. It's not that big of a deal. But there's no point of replacing something if you don't have to, right? So. Okay, so we're getting there. Okay, so we're definitely getting there. Uh, I do have. No, I don't want to put this completely flat because there's that grime can get impact the actual screen. I don't want to do that. Speaking of screen, I think that will be the next thing to do. This was loose. I don't remember undoing this one here. Let's take out this USB-C. Remove the screen. You need some help. Do you need some alcohol? No? Okay. Cool. Okay, so this is it removed. Definitely need to clean this up. This will give problems actually. Uh, later this would probably make a screen go out eventually so it's really good that we're doing this one take good care of them and if we see something trying to make sure that we can do the best we can for the customer all right so the screen's off <laughs> So it's really bad. There is your grossness on this one. And more importantly, here is a big problem that would come in the future. You see that? This can damage the cable. So you see how the cable is bent here? It's very easy for this bend. When the computer keeps opening, this is going to keep going like this over and over again, right? 
So over time, this can actually damage here, this cable, and then you're going to have uh, a real fun time trying to replace those cables <laughs> in there. Let's go ahead, we'll clean that off, and we'll be right back. So I'm going to be just with a nice Q-tip, because I really don't want to damage it, I want to make it as light as I possibly can. Let's see if I can get the nastiness off of it. Just screw. I thought there these are adhesed. Oh, you see that? See, that's the thing with sometimes you don't know is this looks like it's already <laughs> ready to come up. Now this is supposed to have adhesive actually on this. And I don't know why. It's supposed to be easy right here. That's why it's a little bit wobbly. See that? Screw can hold in, it's not a big deal, but to get to the battery you have to I'm gonna adhesive it. This should be an OEM one, so I'm not sure why. This unless this is an opened the cleanup, I it's hard to tell it doesn't look like. Okay, so now we're left with this. Um which all we really have to do here is there is you see these here at the bottom? There's these three there's adhesive here. So we need to uh, take it out. Easy. Huh. So let's go ahead and put on our other one on our replacement. If you want to watch, put it back. Uh, don't worry about it. I didn't adhese uh, this part yet, the battery yet, because I just wanted to test it out first just to make sure everything's fine. Then I can go back and do that because no point of gluing a battery back uh, before you test it. Oh man, this thing opened already. Okay, we can only have no time, well, at least we know it turns on, but uh, I'm going to have to redo this because the customer's name comes up right away. I, know. Okay, I don't need to be zoomed in for this one. So I just need to hold the power button long enough and then it'll go to boot options, which I think I kind of like this way better. Continue holding for startup options. Okay. Loading startup options. So I can let go now, I hope. And that's a good way to tell that it's an M1. Battery's charging, great. Let's go to options, and I want to hit continue because I want to see if I can type somewhere. Maybe the terminal, maybe I can type in like a terminal or something. Okay, well, I'm going to show it here because I can. Um, there's the customer's name comes up here too. So let's go ahead. We see that this is actually working. See all the key, blah, 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 blah. All the keys seem to be working, which is great. And I think that's pretty much it um, to show just a bit of work there. If you want to watch it in reverse, obviously me putting stuff back, that's fine. You could just watch it in reverse. I think that's <laughs> that'd be a better way to go. But looks like we're actually pretty good here. Um, I'll make sure I adhesive the battery and then uh, I'll test it some more just to make sure everything's fine. But uh, what we saw is what we saw and it was actually really good that we did it. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on um, repairing replacing whatever you want to call it uh, an m1 macbook air a2337 macbook air uh, regurgitated that's probably a better way right so we don't get demonetized we we'll use the word we're going with the word regurgitated so we don't get demonetized or we don't want to have any sickly things um macbook that the keyboard has been really nasty there was also, you could see there was a little bit even on the LCD cable. We were able to actually clean that. This one's more of a Palmerus replacement. If you want to really see a good in-depth uh, actual replacement, to do a full uh, keyboard, we remove it, and then we actually do a replacement uh, for the keyboard on this model. Um, this one's because, because that one back in the day, we actually couldn't get parts for it. Now it's easy to get parts. Uh, we can we can order them. It's a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more smoother. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this a little bit informative and a little bit fun to walk through the nasty adventures of what a baby can do to a MacBook Air M1. Very, 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 very fortunate that it was just a keyboard and there was nothing else really going on. We did see that there was some damage, obviously, to the cables, but it uh, looks to be pretty clean. 
but everything looks to be clean and good now and uh, we'll test it further make sure everything looks good but anyways hope you guys enjoyed watching see you next one bye